Hello, welcome everyone. We're going to get started right away since we have a full hour. Welcome to the Healthcare Career Programs Information Session hosted by the Chicagoland Healthcare Workforce Collaborative. I'm April Harrington, the Project Manager of the Chicagoland Healthcare Workforce Collaborative. Uh, this hour is designed for high school students, especially those going into their sophomore, junior, or senior year, but it is welcome to everyone. So if you're a freshman, a parent, or family member, a teacher, or counselor, you are most welcome. We are going to record today's session and send you the recording tomorrow, along with the slides and additional flyers and links. So feel free to pass on this information to anyone you think might be interested. And don't worry if you miss some things today, you'll be getting all of this tomorrow. Uh, please stay on mute throughout the event. We have a large room and a, a quick agenda. So unfortunately we won't have a lot of time for folks to uh, come off mute and ask questions. Um, so, but please ask questions in the chat. I encourage any and all questions about the programs, um, about anything in the chat. If we don't get to them, I promise we'll follow up with the answers to those questions tomorrow. Very quickly, before we get into the agenda, um, I'll let you know what the Chicagoland Healthcare Workforce Collaborative is. We are an employer-led collaborative. We have all of the major health and hospital systems in Chicago at our table, um, those that, whose logos you see up here. And we have come together to support a more inclusive healthcare workforce. So we work hand in hand with training providers and with community organizations to provide quality career pathways to students and job seekers um, to help build the next generation of healthcare heroes. So we are all here today because we want you to work in healthcare. We want your talents in this sector, and we want to expose you to the myriad options, including doctor and nurse, but so many, so many others um, through programs that are during the school, at, during the summer, mentorship programs, volunteer programs. That's what we're here to do. Um, so thank you. Thank you so much for joining us. Before I get into the, um, the agenda for today, I'd love to know a little bit about um, who is in our room. So I'm going to launch a very quick poll here. Um, it should show up on your screen. If it doesn't, don't worry too much. It is not, uh, it's not a required test. Um, but I'm wondering who's in our room today? Are you a freshman, sophomore, junior, senior? Are you a parent or a teacher? Um, so if you see that in the middle of your screen, just let us know who you are, what best describes you. Give you just about one more few seconds. We have good participation here. All right, I'm gonna end it so everyone can see. Um, this is great. We have a few freshmen getting ahead of the curve, learning what's going to, the, the options that are there for you down the line. Um, a good handful of sophomores and juniors and lots of seniors um, and some parents. It's so great to see that there are some parents and guardians and, and family members um, and teachers here as well. Uh, thank you all so much for, oh, I didn't share the results. Now, can you see them? <laughs> Apologies about that. Um, thank you to everyone for joining. Now, moving into our agenda. First, we're going to hear from each of our programs. Uh, so we'll have a 10 minute presentation on each of these four programs. While they're presenting, I encourage you to put those questions in the chat um, as we don't have a ton of time today, but we will get to those questions um, later if, if, if not during those 10 minutes. First, we'll hear from University of Illinois on a internship program, then another internship program with Northwestern Medicine. Then we'll hear about the mentorship programs that the Rush Education and Career Hub hosts. And then finally, a volunteer program hosted by University of Illinois Health. After we hear about those four programs, we'll switch gears a little and you'll see a searchable inventory of these programs and so many more that you can look through today uh, to find other programs similar to this. You can look for summer programs, um, you can look for programs that might be applicable for uh, your age and interests right now, even if these programs aren't what you're interested in. So stay on to hear about that. And then at the very end of the hour, we have a very short feedback survey. 
Um, I'd love for everyone, whether you're uh, a student, a parent, or a teacher to participate in the survey. But if you are a student and you finish the survey by 6.30 p.m., so half an hour after we're done, you will be entered into a raffle to win one of three $100 Amazon gift cards. Um, so I will randomly choose those winners um, tonight and email them in the morning um, and you'll get that gift card uh, hopefully by Friday. Um, so please stay on for your chance to win. And now, since we're going to run through these programs rather quickly, I wanted to start by giving you a quick overview of age requirements, um, other requirements, dates and locations, um, whether this is these are paid and when the application deadlines are. And you will get this slide in um, the materials that I send out tomorrow. And I'm also going to put a link in the chat right now so that you can have this up in a, a separate window. Um, so you have these, these sort of basic questions answered uh, right at the top of the hour. Um, and now I am struggling to find the chat. Okay, I'm gonna put it in the chat in just a moment. And I'm going to hand it over to our first um, presenters, University of Illinois Health, um, Urban Health Club and Champions Program. So I'm gonna stop sharing. I'm gonna put this in the chat so you can see and hand it over to them. Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to be presenting about the UHC and Champions program. My name is Rakea Eldafari and I am a current program coordinator for the Champions program. Currently I attend the University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign and I am currently a senior who is majoring in integrated biology with a minor in chemistry. I am... Hold on. So sorry, is everybody able to hear me or no? Hi, Rokea. I can hear you fine. Okay. Thank you guys so much. Uh, somebody said I, I couldn't. I, that might be from your end, but thank you for informing me. Uh, as I was saying, I am currently on the pre-medical track, and I hope to become a physician one day. And I'm going to go ahead and pass it on to my partner, Sharo. Hello, everybody. My name is Sharo Dominguez. I am currently a sophomore at the University of Urbana-Champaign. My major is in community health and I am on a pre-PA track and I am a program coordinator for Champions. And today we are here to talk about the Urban Health Club Plus Champions Fall 2023 application brought to you by UI Health. So we will go ahead and move on to the program in their overview. So the Urban Health Club and Champions is a virtual after-school program for high school sophomores, juniors, and seniors that are interested in a health career or health advocacy. Health careers can be anything from medicine, dentistry, nursing, physician's assistant, and et cetera. So our program covers three major areas. We cover health career exposure, college readiness, and public health and youth advocacy. We want to expose our students to the possibility of going to college as we want all of our students and participants to be college bound. Additionally, we advocate for college readiness. We help students with FAFSA and personal statements. Additionally, we also help our students with developing their own professional skills and development, which involves resume building and how to craft a resume. And the, another area of our program is we also cover we also do the COVID-19 Youth Ambassador Program, which is about um, covering things such as digital health equity tools, how to combat COVID-19 misinformation, how vaccines are cr created or how they were created during the pandemic especially. And this is a module of topics. We also talk about health advocacy and other things related to COVID-19 and the pandemic. So our program is 
completely online virtual, so through Zoom. There is eight total sessions. The first session starts on September 20th, and it goes on until December 20th. It is on Wednesdays, two times a month, so it would be every other month. And it is from five to seven, so two hours on every other Wednesday. And since there is eight sessions, attendance to all sessions is mandatory. And then you must meet eligibility criteria and attend all virtual sessions to be considered for a stipend, must be a US citizen, permanent resident, or DACA recipient to receive a stipend, but all students are welcome to apply. Okay. I know many of you are wondering, well, am I eligible to participate in this program? So we have a few eligibility requirements. You have to be a high school sophomore, junior, or senior standing in fall of 2023. Additionally, you must be 16 years old by September 20th of 2023, and you must be available for all eight sessions. Our program isn't long. It's only eight sessions, so you have to be there for all eight sessions. We emphasize this. Another uh a uh, requirement is you must be college bound on the pre-health track. Reminder, this can be medicine, dentistry, nursing, PA, anything that is in the pre-health track. Additionally, you must be enrolled in one of the following school districts below, Belvedere, CPS, Peoria, Rockford, and the Urbana School District. So what does the application process look like? So the application is online. There's actually a QR code right now on the screen if you want to scan it and take a look. And then I also believe that the application is going to be in the meeting chat. So if you want to take a look of that, on of that. And then additionally, you also are going to need an unofficial high school transcript that has your school and student information and then a personal statement of 300 words just so that we get to know you a little bit more and then a letter of recommendation this could be from a high school teacher or staff like a counselor and then all of these documents must be submitted by September 6th that day is coming up so if you are thinking of applying um, it is important to do that ASAP and then the email that all of us should be sent to is uihealthchampions at uic.edu. So you guys can, can connect with us in a variety of ways. At the top is our email. We also have Facebook, Instagram, and you can also visit our link or just Google UI Health Champions. Also, I'm going to go ahead and open it up. If anybody has questions, feel free to submit them in the chat box or raise your hand. Remember, you can ask questions in the chat at any time. It looks like we don't have any questions right now for the UI Health Champions program. So we'll move on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for having us. Now I'm going to go ahead and pass it over to the Northwestern Discovery Program. Thank you so much, Rokea and Shara. It was so nice to hear from your program. Um, you guys really check out their Instagram page. It's super cool. They post on it so often. Really um, interactive space too. Um, I am Jana Udave and welcome. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Um, over the next 10 minutes or so, I'll be giving an overview of the um, Northwestern Medicine Discovery Program. Um, just about just a little bit about the history. It's been an NM pipeline offering since the 1990s, so it's been around for quite a while now. And the mission of the program is to create a pathway for the next generation of healthcare leaders. We do that by drawing on the talents of NM healthcare professionals to provide STEM career exploration opportunities. Um, on the bottom right of the screen, you'll see a photo from this year's Discovery students in the Central Region um, during their time in the anatomy lab. Um, super cool, very interactive, very hands-on. Um, and also the program itself is designed for students with a strong interest in healthcare, but who may have a limited access to healthcare uh, exploration opportunities. To share a little bit about our reach, 
Um, for the 2022-2023 cohort, we serve nearly 200 students across six regions. Um, so we're not just in downtown Chicago, we're kind of spread throughout the suburbs as well. Um, so we have programs running in Southwest suburbs, the West, Northwest, Greater DeKalb and North suburbs as well. Um, can you guys see this? Um, now just a little bit about the program features and kind of what that structure looks like. Um, we have monthly meetings and they're held from November to June. So just once a month time commitment on Saturdays from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. And to give you an idea of what sessions we host, um, past sessions have included pediatric care, emergency medicine, stop the bleed training, hands-only CPR class, which was cool, neurology, a medical career path, a virtual cadaver lab, the list is kind of extensive here. Um, and we also incorporate a non-clinical session every year. Um, so past topics have included human resources, marketing, and strategy. Once our students have completed the program, they also have a chance to apply for our summer internship. Um, there's an application process for the internship um, and it runs in person for six to eight weeks in June. And one really great feature that's important to us for the internship is that our students are paid for their time. Um, and that's done for a few key reasons here. We wanna make sure that our students don't have to decide between having a summer job and doing an internship. So we make sure that the, that the job is paid. Um, and also so they don't have to overtax themselves with possibly doing the internships and having a, a paid full-time job as well. Um, this slide here shares some great photos of just kind of a day in the life of a Discovery student and a behind the scenes of what their experience looks like. Um, on the screen here, you'll see a variety of classroom settings, some tours, um, some hands-on things. Again, the middle of the screen and the bottom, um, you'll see students holding holding lungs here, which is super neat. Um, and in a minute or so, you'll be hearing from two of our great alumni who've just uh, finished the program this summer, uh, Joey and Casey. Um, and Joey's actually highlighted a bit here. You'll see half of his face here. Um, so this is a great photo um, on the slide here too, as well on the bottom, um, you'll see some students in scrubs that were in Payless Hospital that were part of our internship program. Um, next, I just want to get into the details of the program eligibility. So students have to be at least 15 years old to join the program and 16 years old for the internship. They have to be entering into sophomore or junior year of high school. Uh, we do accept uh, seniors in all chapters except for the central chapter. And that's because the central chapter is the only chapter that the programs ran for two years. Uh, we also look at the academic GPA and we request a copy of student transcripts in their application. Um, at the bottom of the screen, I just want to point, uh, put your attention towards the link there. It's nm.org slash discovery program to learn more about the program. Um, and also please scan that QR code here. Um, once I'm done presenting the slides, I will share a, um, that link in the chat for you, with you guys as well as a flyer. Um, one more thing I wanted to mention as well is that when visiting our site, we do have a deadline for our application, um, and that's September 29th. Um, so you have a little bit of time, but definitely it would be best to submit your application sooner than later. Um, next, I am so thrilled and excited to let you all hear from our two amazing students that just finished the program, Casey and Joey. Um, Casey had joined us and she was volunteering, or sorry, she had an internship at Ambulatory Care this summer and Joey, Joey had an internship at the Ophthalmology Department this summer. So I'm gonna stop screen sharing. Um, and then Casey and Joey, you guys can come off mute. I just wanna hear from you guys. Um, why did you choose the program and kind of what was your favorite part? Uh, maybe Joey can go first. Well, I, I chose the program because I, it just gave me the opportunity to go and um, just look at all the different fields in medicine. You know, like the the variety that we got was just it was just amazing. And by far, my favorite session was when we went to the cadaver lab and like those pictures. You know, just being able to hold like you know like a human brain. You know, bit, got a bit queasy, but uh, it was it was really a truly amazing experience. And that was one of my favorite parts of it. So I'm sure Casey has more to add. Um, yeah, so when I first heard about this program, um, 
you know, I heard that it was like supposed to gain exposure on um, departments that I wouldn't know about it. So I initially went into the program like set on pediatrics, but coming out of it, um, I'm less set on pediatrics and I think I'm more interested in nursing. But my favorite part of it was the cadaver lab. And when we had neurology come in, um, we got to go to the Innovation Institute. So it was just the building down across the street. And we got to see like the research, pro the research process on um, brains. So we did get to see brains in the fridge and they were researching how Alzheimer's works and kind of the um, progression of it. Um, but I'm really glad I chose this program because it um, showed a lot of different fields that I wouldn't know I was interested in. And also the internship experience was definitely helpful to me now. Um, ambulatory care coordination was not something that I knew before, but after the eight weeks with them, um, I can say that I know a lot about it. And if I were to put, if I were to be put in that setting again, I think I could navigate myself there. Ah, thank you guys again so much for joining us today. And I just wanted to point out a few things that happened while you guys were um, sharing your experience. Um, one, I have to say the excitement and joy that you guys had just on reflecting um, on those experiences was super cool. Um, you guys had both mentioned the anatomy lab and um, and just for others to know here is when the students got to go to the anatomy lab, they got to learn from um, Northwestern University current med students. And what the med students said was, hey, I didn't get to do this until I was in med school. Um, so this is one really neat opportunity they had to get to get exposure to. Um, and then Casey, you mentioned um, the innovation lab and getting to see the hospital room of the future. Um, do you guys have any other comments or words of wisdom that you have for these current high school students as they try to decide on um, which program to choose? Well, I'd obviously say apply and choose this one. I mean, just like I didn't talk about like my internship, you know, just being in the ophthalmology department, just the, the sheer access, you know, like my office, I shared an office with like two retina fellows, like, and I was like, 10 feet away from like some of the best ophthalmologists like in the country, you know, like you just can't beat the access that you get, the exposure that you get. It's just, it's just amazing. And it's a great start for anyone thinking about going in the pre-med track. I 100% recommend it and you get paid too. And you really can't beat that. You know? Thanks, Joey. Yeah, I fully agree with Joey. Um, I think that Northwestern has a lot of resources that might not be found in other programs that you choose. Um, but I was in ambulatory care, even though I had one department, I did go over to other departments like the emergency room. Um, I did go to ophthalmology with Joey and she showed me around and I got, I even got my own eye scan. So I got to see how healthy my eyes were. Um, and um, I just think that everybody there in that internship wants you to get the experience that you're looking for. So they were continuously looking for opportunities for me to grow and for me to get most the most out of this internship. Ah, amazing. You guys continue to be rock stars. We're so happy and proud to have you guys as alumni of our program. Thank you guys for your time for joining us today. Um, I am now going to pass it over to the REACH program um, and just want to thank again all the students that are joining and are just, you know, interested in all of the programs that you're going to be hearing from today. Um, so passing it over to the REACH program. Thank you. All right. Can you all hear me? I hope so. Yes. All right. Oh, perfect. Then. <laughs> all righty. Hello, everyone. And I hope you all can see my screen. Uh, my name is Nia Benson Roberson, and I am the Program Development Associate for Rush Education and Career Hub, also known as REACH. Yeah, there we go. Um, at the Rush Education and Career Hub, we believe that healthcare, the healthcare field does not have enough leaders of color, and that it should be led by a diverse population as diverse as the community and the population that we serve. And so every day we educate, empower, and prepare Black, Latinx, and low social economic status youth for the future of work and developing the next generation of healthcare leaders, putting them on a path to skilled, high quality employment and greater economic well-being. 
So in order to complete this mission uh, for high school students, we have a vast amount of programs, which include free internships, internships, apprenticeships, uh, career shadowing, um, health focused mentorship programs. And today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the mentorship programs that we have available for the school year. So the program is particularly uh, called the Bridges Mentorship Program. It's the Reach Bridges Mentorship Program that is available for high school juniors and seniors. Um, the Bridges Program is a specialty program designed for high school juniors and seniors who are interested in exploring like nursing, medicine, and typically allied health careers. Um, the mentoring, career exploration, and academic support will be made to students who are participants of this program and participants will be able to learn from current health professionals, engage in uh, medical cases, uh, medical studies, simulations, collaborate with other teams from all across the um, city, as well as um, engage in monthly meetings with our program. Here are some important dates. Um, right now, we are available for our volunteers to apply for this program. So if you know of some folks, let me know, okay? Um, and they will have their application open until the extended date, which is now September 22nd. Um, we typically select our, um, select our, we start selecting our uh, mentors around August 29th up until the end of the uh, session, but we, as soon as we get our applications in, that's when we start to kind of evaluate them. And then we have our mentor mentee uh, orientation on the sat on the Saturday of September 28th. For mentees like yourself, you are able to apply to our program um, between September 15th and October 13th. Uh, we start pairing you up around October 20th, and then you are going to be coming to our mentee mentor orientation on the Saturday, um, September 28th. And so we typically have our programs, uh, program dates, which is basically a monthly one-on-one -on -one meeting with your mentors, um, a monthly program meeting where you as a program, Bridges uh, program will come together. And those dates are kind of determined by you all and what's the kind of bigger collaborative of what you all have available. And then we also celebrate the end of the program with our annual Bridges brunch, which is typically on a Saturday, which is gonna be uh, next year, April 13th from 11 to 1.30. To get some more information about our programs, um, this is the Bridges to Nursing program. Um, it is typically collaborating with either our Rush Nursing programs or the UIC Nursing program that provides dedicated nursing students as mentors to this program in order to help you all gain the experience and knowledge you need in order to matriculate into a nursing program. This is one of our biggest programs and one of the greatest highlights of the programs is the guest panel sessions with nurses from all over the city. If you are interested in being a registered nurse, a cardiac nurse, a traveling nurse, an ER nurse, whatever the whatever the uh, uh, winds do bad you to blow into, please make sure that you apply for this program. It's going to be awesome. Um, and we also have our Bridges to Medicine, which is going to be another mentorship program that's a part of our Bridges program um, and it's helping students get acclimated to um, understanding the medical necessities needed in order to matriculate into medical school. Um, this program typically collaborates with our Rush University Medical School students and residents that are here at Rush um, at the multiple facilities that we have. We have our main campus, we have Oak Park, South Loop, River North, West Loop, things like that. And this is our second biggest program. Uh, biggest program, it, best highlight is the visit to the simulation lab here at Rush. And so if you're interested in becoming a surgeon, a radiologist, anesthesiologist, anything that help, that is necessary for you to get into medical school, any career that it needs a medical school license, that is going to be uh, the program for you, which is going to be completely different than our British to Ally Health uh, program, which is going to help students connect with actual healthcare professionals that are in these healthcare um, uh, fields of allied health. They don't always need, they do not need you all to go into medical school for these. Sometimes it's a two year to four year program. It really all kind of depends on where you are in your life with these programs, but we are going to help gain you all mentors to help you all understand what is necessary and to get into careers such as these that is listed on the screen. And so this is our newest program and we partner with health professionals all over the city in order to uh, get mentors for these programs. Um, additional offerings to our programs is that we do provide wraparound support such as computers, uh, Wi-Fi hotspots, and bus cars in order to come to our campus for our monthly meetings. 
Um, seniors, if you are a senior in our program, you do have a chance to win a $500 book scholarship per program. So that means one for the nursing, one for medicine, and one for allied health. And it's all determined upon like your committed participation and your attendance. Um, and your priority uh, consideration for when applying to our internship programs or our pre-internship programs or any other programs that we have that you might be interested in, you will get priority when it comes to consideration of being an uh, applicant for that program or being a participant for that program. If you would like to know how to apply, we are uh, going to be providing you all with uh, flyers. Typically, we have students, when they are applying to our program, they would go to our website, reachourrush.org slash uh, our programs. Uh, slash high school uh, but for you all who are here today in this session we actually have our brochures that are ready for you all and you can apply today um, up until the uh, deadline which is going to be october 13th so when you get these flyers you'll be able to apply almost immediately so you get actual advanced um, uh, priority when being able to access the application and have more time to complete it so thank you all for joining us today and that way you get that little gift from us um, if you have any questions, please feel free to definitely, uh, I'll be checking out the chat, um, but you can also email us at medstimatrush.edu, or you can call us, that's my office number, you'll be able to reach us there. And I wanna thank you so much for joining us for this session. And now we'll be hearing from UI Health Volunteer Services for our next go round. Thank you so much, Nia. Um, very quick before we go over to UI Health, um, we have a few questions in the chat. Um, Nia, I did see surgical tech listed on your allied health mentorship list. Is that correct? That you do cover yeah. surgical technology? Um, since we have a lot of yes, interest in do. that in the room. Oh, um, I'm so fantastic glad. Yes, to see. We, we need surgical we do, uh, make sure that we reach out to those folks. So please make sure you apply. We want to make sure that we are getting the mentors available for you all. So that way you all are able to ask them the questions, kind of get yourself prepared in order to uh, understand what's your next trajectory to your career path that you're interested in. Fantastic. Um, and is anyone from Champions uh, still on and available to, to, to mention whether you cover, cover surgical technology? And there's also a question in the chat uh, about the Champions program. If you are a sophomore and, a fifth, and 15 years old, are you eligible to apply? I'll answer those questions. So the I'll start with the second question. You have to be 16 years old by the program start date, which is September 20th. Um, so if your birthday is say within that week or so, uh, maybe two weeks or so, we can certainly um, look at your application. But if you won't be 16, then unfortunately you are not eligible. As for the first question regarding surgical tech, is that what you mentioned, April? Yes, it seems that we have we have lots of interest in surgical technology, and they we will not, not be covering that this fall semester. No. Okay, everyone, feel free to add any and all of your questions in the chat, um, and our our presenters will keep an eye on it to answer those for you. And now I'll pass it over to the team from Un uh, University of Illinois Health Volunteer Services. Awesome, thank you, April. What's up, y'all? How's it going? Uh, so uh, my name is Odonis Sandoval. I'm the Workforce Development Coordinator for UI Health Champion, uh, sorry, UI Health Volunteer Services. Uh, and then I'll pass it over to my director. Hi, everyone. Um, happy Wednesday. Uh, my name is Kinga Matea. I'm the Director of Volunteer Services and Workforce Development. Thank you so much for all your time and being with us today. Uh, so there's there's a uh, we run the volunteer program and workforce development program at UI Health Hospital. Uh, a couple of our other uh, colleagues are here as well from the UI Health uh, system. Um, here at our hospital, we offer the volunteer program, which is pretty multifaceted. It's really immersive, unlike any other volunteer program uh, that you might find. Uh, we really put you in the in the forefront. So right there, along with the doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals, uh, and you're right there alongside with them, working with them. Uh, a couple of reasons why 
to volunteer at a hospital. It helps you observe behind the scenes at a hospital system. So maybe you you know you want to go into healthcare, but you don't really know at what capacity you want to be a nurse, you want to be a doctor, you want to be a respiratory therapist, maybe you want to be uh, an administration. Um, if you have some of those questions, uh, this will give you a good chance to kind of sample uh, each department and see what you're uh, kind of interested in. It will solidify your interest in pursuing a healthcare career. You know, you might think like, hey, I want to be a, a cardiothoracic surgeon, but then you go into surgery and you're like, hey, this is not for me. That's completely cool. Uh, maybe maybe diagnostics is, is what is your calling, you know? Uh, you get to contribute to the overall health care of a patient. So even though uh, you are volunteers, you're still helping out. You're still providing that warm attitude and, and that empathy toward our, our patients and staff members. So you're still contributing to their overall health. Um, and then it really helps you develop patient sensitivity and, and professionalism. Some of us, um, you know, I think right now, I think we can all agree that, you know, bedside manner is kind of lacking in our hospitals and our healthcare facilities. So this could help build those, those soft skills that you might be uh, wanting to develop. Um, Kinga can go over some of our volunteer qualifications. So if you meet these qualifications, feel free to apply. So again, um, to be a volunteer at UI Health, you must be 16 years old um, and uh, make a commitment to a minimum of 12 months of service with a minimum of eight hours per month each month. Mm -hmm. However, if you are able to complete, for example, 100 hours within the three months, we have so-called um, um, very speedy volunteers. So sometimes they just want to uh, volunteer during the summertime. As long as you volunteer for a minimum of 100 hours, we are totally fine with that. Um, but this is not a minimum again. We have volunteers that they've been with us for over 10 years. So uh, there is no maximum either. So you can continue our relationship with uh, with us. Uh, we ask that you complete our online application. I actually put the link in the um, in the chat. You can visit our website and uh, see all the programs that we have available. And uh, you can click on the application and apply. Um, once you apply, you will receive a volunteer orientation. Uh, this is a uh, um, a Zoom presentation that uh, you will need to go over. Uh, and at the end, we ask you to complete a quiz. We want to make sure that you actually went through the um, orientation and you understand the basic um, um, things about volunteer services. And we just ask you to answer a couple of questions. Uh, the next step, we're asking um, for you to complete a medical health screening, uh, which would include a drug screening and a basic health assessment. Uh, so they will draw your blood and get some titers to make sure all is well. If you need some vaccination, uh, you can get them. And if not, uh, you can apply for a medical or a religious exemption. Um, once the medical uh, clearance um, is done, um, then we ask you to complete our criminal background check. And this is, again, this is a link. You just fill out a couple of information and we should receive it within a couple of days. Usually for health screening, it's a one week. Uh, for background check, is a couple of days. And um, the application process, uh, again, you uh, submit your application, uh, submit some intake forms and a uh, new volunteer orientation quiz, complete uh, some forms that we need you to um, sign, also, you will do the health screening as well as the background check. Again, uh, both health screening and the background check is free of charge. This is why we're asking you to commit to a minimum of 100 hours to make sure that uh, other institutions, you know, you have to cover it out of your pocket. We are, we are covering the cost of both of these. And uh, once you have both of those done and uh, you are clear to volunteer, you can, pick up, uh, you can pick up your ID badge and your uniform at the volunteer services office, and you will receive your uh, assignment email with all the information, how to sign up on your sh for your shifts and which departments um, you will be volunteering in. Um, so some some of uh, some of the programs that you're you're able to volunteer in uh, are greeters and wayfinders, uh, diagnostics, uh, pediatrics. We have both outpatient and inpatient uh, oncology. So we have our, our cancer center. We have music therapy. So if if anybody has any sort of musical talents, if you play an instrument 
or if you sing, uh, we would love to have you play in our waiting rooms and, and comfort some of our patients while they're waiting for their, their appointments um, and pet partner therapy as well. So if you have a service animal uh, that you'd like to bring in to help our patients uh, while they're getting treatment, uh, please do so. Uh, some of our mid-need programs are inpatient pediatrics, uh, emergency room, physical and occupational therapy, surgical services, um, our NICU, uh, which is our neonatal intensive care unit, uh, or our baby cuddlers, um, health social work, and then some of our specialized programs are the craniofacial center, uh, craniofacial anaplastology, uh, pharmacy, breastfeeding counselors, and pastoral care. And then here are some of the pictures that uh, we have of our lovely volunteers. Along with our, our departments, we also do a, a variety of events throughout the year. Uh, we have a lot of donations and a, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of donations that we get at the hospital. And we love to, uh, you know, put those together and give them back to our patients and staff. So I don't know about you guys, but it, it always gives me a warm feeling to, to lighten up somebody's day by just giving them some candy or some flowers. Um, uh, some of our benefits that we have, uh, we cover the cost of your parking and a meal uh, when you work more than four hours. Uh, and then this is also why we want you to, to commit to at least 100 hours. So uh, we're putting a lot of um, resources into you to make your experience a good one. So we want to make sure that um, you guys are committed to volunteering with us. Um, this is just our disclaimer. Again, the 100 hours, uh, uh, completely free program, uh, but please be aware that, uh, please be committed, certain that you are committed to volunteering at UI Health for a month. And then uh, these are our social media links. So if you guys want to get a better idea of what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, feel free to follow us uh, on social media or check us out uh, because we do a lot of cool stuff on there um, and you'll be able to see the, the cool things that we do. And then this is a QR code that will take you directly to our website uh, where you can find our, our application as well. And if you have any questions, if you are a little uneasy or you're not too sure if you want to volunteer at the hospital, feel free to give us a call or shoot us an email uh, and we would love to have a conversation. If I could add one thing, what is very um, special about program, uh, you can be volunteering um, in as a uh, as a young high school student. You may not know uh, what exactly you want to do in life, and we give you the opportunity to volunteer, for example, in surgical services, in the emergency room department. Uh, how does it feel to work with kids? What does uh, therapy looks like? Um, so you can what there's a a lot of administration volunteer opportunities. So you can actually see, you can be a part of different programs in the hospital and see what does it look like from behind the scene. And sometimes a lot of students, it helps them to solidify their interest in a certain area or or sometimes, you know, they, they may, it may spark their interest in something else. So we really encourage you to, um, to, to apply and, and be a part of our family. Does anybody have any questions? If not, we could turn but it is over. There a, I have a question. Is there a minimum age to be able to do the mid-tier volunteering such as ER? You have to be 18 to be in the ER. And then some, somebody asks, is there an application deadline? No, we have rolling admission. So we yes. don't have a deadline or any sort of, uh, uh, we have volunteer opportunities year round. Yes. And other questions that I see in the chat is, are there any opportunities for college students and freshmen? So again, our start age is 16. However, we have volunteers as young as 84. So all the way from 16 to all the way in their 80s, there is no maximum. So yeah, you have plenty of time. Um, and other questions? We can answer the, the questions in the chat. Yeah. Uh, we can turn it over to uh, Rapid Illinois. Uh, thank you so much, Odonis and Kinga. And I'll attest that um, I, I receive their um, 
newsletters and it always looks like such a fun uh, volunteer group doing a ton of great activities. Um, it does look like you have some more questions in the chat. So um, Cheryl Donaldson Kinga will get to those. And now we'll switch gears a little bit. Um, I hope that all of you uh, have found at least one program, if not more, that you're interested in applying for. But if not, there are others out there, don't worry. Um, and this group at the University of Illinois has put together a fantastic inventory of all those programs for you. Um, so I'm gonna hand it off to Jabari Taylor to introduce you to that inventory and walk you through it. Hi, good afternoon, everyone. I am just sharing the links in the chat so that you all can look as I share. Um, but one, okay. So, um, good afternoon and thanks for coming out. My name is Jabari Taylor. I am the project manager um, for the Rapid Illinois program. Um, I'm gonna briefly just talk about um, this landing page that we have, but also focus more on the inventory. Um, so this is a landing page that I shared. Um, the address on um, the web address is healthcareerpathways.uic.edu. Um, the purpose of this page is um, basically to be a very good starting point from students from uh, middle school up into pro professional um, programs. Um, so we, you navigate these sites. We have areas and resources for elementary and middle school students, high school students, college students. Um, post undergraduate students and professional students. Also at the top, we have an about section with career guidance um, that's broken down by age, um, educational level. We have pathway programs, health professions for information like that, as well as his contact page um, where you can provide feedback and contact someone from the Rapid Illinois team. Um, and so basically this is just to give like more career guidance and things like that. Um, and so as it relates to this, if for example, if you click the high school students tab, it has we have provided information that's more age appropriate for this um, group of students as well, as well as a way to get to the inventory. Um, and so I do wanna make a note that we are not a pathway program, but the specific aim is to really give um, information and then a direct link to all of the other programs like that, which we will see right now. So when you click that link, it will go to high school programs. Um, and then this program is the inventory that April mentioned. Um, and so we have a user guide that pretty much explains how to use this page as well. It also includes the amount of programs that we have for each age range, um, as well as things like that. Um, and so if you, for example, if you're a high school student, you can click this button. Um, this program gives all of the high school programs that we've identified currently that are in our inventory. Um, it will show you the age range, um, which health profession that was identified, some of the components of the inventory, um, if it's in a specific county in Illinois, um, if it's available online, if it's free of charge, any financial assistance and um, pending programs for review. But this is more my end. But if you were looking for things like with financial assistance, it would give you, it will filter all the programs for high school students by that. So things like the early outreach program would provide finance, some level of financial assistance, the e academy, um, the Latino science enrichment programs, and things like that. Um, so these are all some of the programs that we've identified with that. Um, and so you can filter all through that. Um, so it's middle school, high school, college, post-grad, professional. Um, if you were looking for anything specifically like high school, um, you can do a nursing program if we have it. So the early outreach program will give you um, some type of thing like that for nursing. Um, and so for example, if you clicked it, It just looks like that on my end. But it'll click like this to your page where it'll give you a brief description of it, the focus and outcomes, um, any desired outcomes that the program contact is, um, identify what the time periods are, so weekends during the academic year and summer, and components. It'll also give you application um, information as well, as well as the cost and financial support um, for things like that. 
Um, and so it also will give you the ability to go right to the program as well. Um, so you can get more information about that on the website. Um, there's also a form at the top where you can provide, if you go here, you can go to the bottom and then also provide feedback as well. Um, if you want to find any more information, that would also work. So there's this button right here that says, ask a question, provide feedback. Um, and then that gets you right back to that landing page that I showed you where this is, there's an inquiry where you can put your name, email, what kind of um, pathway, um, kind of stakeholder or student you are. So if you're a pathway program, school counselor, parent, student, um, if you're in an organization or a school, you can also provide that question and feedback there as well. Um, and so we do encourage it, especially for high school students. If you have any feedback or comments on how to make this page better for um, you as a student, if you're a parent, if you had any feedback, that would be greatly appreciated so that we can really update and make this a very good user-friendly website for all students. Um, so um, let me know your thoughts and if you have any questions, um, and then thank you for coming up. Did anyone have any questions? Anyone feel free to ask questions in the chat. Um, what I love about um, the Rapid Illinois inventory is that there are so many programs in there. And you uh, I don't know if you saw, but there are programs for middle, middle school students um, and college students and post-grad and professionals. So hopefully this inventory will continue to um, exist well into the future and you'll be able to return to it um, to look for summer internships, school year programs uh, throughout the course of your education and career exploration. Um, feel free now, we, we, we do have a few minutes. Um, feel free to, um, oh, excuse me, I was gonna unpin myself. Um, if anyone has some questions as we close here, feel free to raise your hand. Um, and we do have some time to take some questions off of mute. I am about to drop the survey about this um, this event into the chat. I encourage everyone to take it. It'll only take a couple of minutes. If you are a high school student, you are eligible to win one of three $100 Amazon gift cards if you fill it out. Um, so fill it out before 6.30 PM within the next 40 minutes or so, and you'll be entered in to win that. I will choose, I will uh, put in all of the names that uh, that qualify into a random uh, program to choose three random winners and I'll notify them tomorrow. Uh, once again, everyone will receive the recording of this information session along with the slides and flyers and links. I encourage you to forward to your friends, your peers, your, um, your colleagues, um, to anyone who might be interested. Uh, so I'm going to put that in the chat right now. But is there anyone who has any questions? I see that we have a few um, few additional. Uh, we have a question about transportation provided. If any one of our, our um, presenters wanna talk about transportation, go ahead. Well, I did answer the question in the chat that of uh, the Bridges program, we do provide uh, wraparound supports for bus cars. That way you are able to get to and from home on program days. So that is what we can provide to you all if you need that. I can also touch on that. Well, some programs also might not specifically say that they provide transportation, but in that financial um, support, there's, if the program does provide it, there's sometimes stipends and then financial support for students to um, get that transportation um, as well, if that helps. Any other questions? Would uh, champions accept homeschoolers? Great question. So that is a very good question. We do have students that are homeschooled but are enrolled in a school district. So if that is your case where you're able to provide a transcript demonstrating affiliation to a school district that's listed in the flyer, then yes, you are eligible um, while being homeschooled. I hope that makes sense.
we have a question about which program would you recommend for a high school senior interested in becoming a neurosurgeon? Um, I would venture to say any and all of these, but um, does anyone have a thought on that from our presenters? I know that Nia at Reach has the, the great mentorship um, in the bridge to uh, medical school program, but I'm sure that NM Discovery and Champions would also cover on some interesting topics there. Yes, we we could provide mentors from the neuroscience uh, department. We have partnerships with them already for our internship program. So it just depends on the type of experience you're looking for. Are you looking for more of an internship or more hands-on experience? Or would you like to just be collaborating with professionals and other students throughout the year? So that kind of depends on that. We have questions about covering sports medicine, orthopedics, um, and I think I saw another one, a, a medical lab technician. Does anyone's programs cover those? Also too, I wanna add, um, that's fine. If you go to that search bar in the rapid inventory, you can put specific search terms and it will um, give you something based on that. I did just do a quick neuro search, a neuroscience. And there is a program if someone's interested. If it's in there, um, and you just search them, if that helps people. I would also like to add that um, we do support um, non-clinical careers as well. So if you're interested in like health IT, that's also something that's a part of our allied health career. We have a lot of IT staff here at Rush that are interested in mentoring. They are desperately inter interested in mentoring. So if you're looking for that as a primary career, or even just like something as a backup career, secondary career, um, that is something that I will also suggest for you all who are interested in more of uh, computers and health sciences. So uh, uh, the health IT is also our area as well. Um, we have a question about after filling out the application, do we have to wait for acceptance um, uh, or present to the interview orientation right away. Um, does anyone wanna uh, clarify a little bit um, what, what happens after they apply to your program? For champions specifically, the process is pretty straightforward. You submit your application with all of the required documents. There is no interview for this specific program. All of our applicants will be notified of our decision um, a week to a couple of days before the program start date, depending on um, the load of applications that we receive, but all applicants will receive an email notification with our decision. And that seems similar to Northwestern Discovery based on Jana's comments. That's right, April. April, and students will see on our website that we have a a notification date. So by November 1st, we'll let students know about the decision. It is typically the same for us as well. We don't, we do not have a uh, interview portion. Our application is very thorough in asking the questions that need to be answered for us to determine, but it is going to, your acceptance is determined by if we have a uh, career professional who fits your needs, especially if you have very specific um, more inflexible needs uh, when it comes to mentors. So if you specifically want a uh, travel nurse and we can't find one that is in the city who will be able to work all around their schedule, we won't be able to accept you in the program. So it is determined by how many mentors we have, not how many mentees we have. Um, and if someone from the Champions program wouldn't mind putting in the, the link in the chat again, um, but I'll remind everyone you'll get all of your links and flyers and slides tomorrow with this recording. Um, and I think that we've had a couple questions about surgery. It seems like um, if you apply to the, the mentoring program with REACH, it just depends on having enough mentors that are applicable. Um, Jana and Natalia, did we cover whether your programs will go, get into surgery? We will not be covering surgery this fall. Mm -hmm. 
typically we don't um, and sessions really do depend on staff availability so unfortunately we can't um, confirm that right now Um, any other questions? Final questions. We have one minute. Any final burning questions? Um, personal email or CPS email on the feedback survey. It doesn't matter. Um, all I I just need it to contact you and be able to to send you the gift card if you are a winner. So I would just suggest a, an email that you regularly um, uh, check uh, so that you'll see it. Um, and um, I see that there's one more question about internal medicine pediatrics. I'll let our providers uh, post that in the chat if they can. Um, the meeting will be recorded and uploaded onto YouTube. So you'll get a YouTube link with the recording tomorrow. Um, so thank you all for joining. It's 6 p.m. So we're going to close. I'd like to thank all of our presenters for being here um, and all of our students. We are so excited that you are excited about healthcare and want to become the next generation of healthcare heroes. We are here to help you do it. Um, if you need more help figuring this out, you, you have my email. I will do the best that I can to help direct you in the right, uh, in the right direction. So thank you all. Have a fantastic evening and week um, and enjoy the beginning of school. Bye everyone. Bye, thank you.